bruh i can't believe it can you guys believe it that i'm gonna be 26 years old i actually can't believe i'm turning 26 years old like it's just unreal to me i don't know what it is but this age of 25 is just it's it's, it's there's something about this mid-20s there's something about this this age of 25 it's it just hits different it hits different I've grown so much in the last five to six years. Like, I've come a long way. When I tell you I've come a long way, I've come a long way. All I'm saying is this, like, it's a whole different vibe, a whole different confidence, a whole different self-esteem around here, okay? When you're filled with so much confidence and your self-esteem is so high, it's just unbelievable on how much you can accomplish. We love Benny. facts hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are having a blessed day i hope you guys are having a blessed week i hope you guys are staying safe because we ain't safe out here in these streets before we start with this video please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification button so you can be notified every time i post a video and y'all do not want to miss my videos you really don't your girl's back again with another video i know a lot of you guys are expecting the commentary the reviews today wondering what topic i'm going to be talking about what topic i'm going to be making commentary about well today it's a whole nother video it's a whole different type of video today i feel like i want to do this video one because you know i'm a content creator i'm an online personality and i feel like for me i like to like reflect uh <laughs> on certain parts on certain parts of my life and also because you know I do these types of videos every year and if you are a true loyal follower and you have been watching me for years you guys know I do these types of videos a few weeks just before my birthday and I feel like today is that time it's approaching my birthday I'm getting old, <laughs> I'm turning 26 in a few weeks time, bruh, I can't believe it, can you guys believe it, that I'm gonna be 26 years old, 26, like, where, where's time going, like, I still can't believe that I'm even an adult, I, st I actually can't believe I'm turning 26 years old, like, it's just unreal to me, like, the way time is going, yeah like you you've gotta you've gotta make every moment special like you gotta enjoy life and make the most of your days make the most of your loved ones because the way time is flying you know mm -mm, it's scary it's very scary i'm actually so grateful and thankful that i've reached this milestone like i'm so thankful like alhamdulillah like the fact that i'm still alive the fact that I've reached this milestone, the fact that I've hit this mark of mid-twenties, like, it's just surreal to me. It's just crazy to me. Um, I feel like, you know, <laughs> it's been a journey. Like, I, I can't believe that I've made it, like, this far in my twenties. Let me just tell you something. I'm not saying this just to boast myself, but I've grown so much in the last five to six years. Like, I've come a long way. When I tell you I've come a long way, I've come a long way. Like, yes, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm definitely not where I used to be. All I'm saying is this. Like, it's a whole different vibe, a whole different confidence, a whole different self-esteem around here, okay? Okay. Like, when I tell you, especially the last six months, the last six months to a year, like, the things I've accomplished, it might be small to a lot of you, but to me, like, I never thought in a million years, like, I would accomplish so much in the last six months to a year. Like, I always amaze myself and I look at myself every day and... I, I look at myself like and I just look like I look at myself and I'm like damn did I actually do this like like how is it that I managed to do all of this in such a short amount of time and for some people it might not be a big deal but to me 
like it's 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 just amazing when you're filled with so much confidence and your self-esteem is so high it's just unbelievable on how much you can accomplish you just look at yourself and be like damn like i did that like i did that one of the things that i've i tend to do and i've always got to remind myself is celebrating myself um i've learned so much in the last five to six years like honestly i've learned so many lessons i've experienced a whole lot um i feel like as years go by i just develop so much strength and i feel like this life of adulthood so far has toughened me up in so many ways when it comes to experiences in jobs experiences just in friendships experiences in just life it's toughened me up like it's just crazy to me and one of the things that I've learned is I've just stopped caring like when I tell you I'm so unapologetic like I'm so unapologetic like I just I've stopped caring like for me I've learned to just stand out be myself be unapologetic stop caring what other people think because at the end of the day we're in a world that people are always going to judge people are always going to have opinions and i've just been so focused on me myself and i and just minding my business and focusing on me and you know that saying of mind the business that pays you is literally me like that's who i've been so far I've just been focusing on me, my business, my content, and my vision. That's it. That's all I focus on. And it's crazy the things that I've accomplished in the last six months because never in a million years, like, I would have not thought that, never in a million years, I would have thought that I would be interviewing people, reaching out to people for interviews what never in a million years i used to think to myself like oh my god like these people are gonna think that i'm gonna be such a beg but honestly people have literally reached back to me saying that yes i would love for you to interview me and come to my platform and allow them to interview me like it's just surreal to me i know for some people it's not a big deal but to me it means a lot because it just shows that you know, I'm valued, you know, it just shows that, you know, people actually want me to interview them and people actually see my content and actually enjoy my content. Um, it's, it's, it, I feel like for me, this journey of content creating and just an online personality, it's very therapeutic. I've realized that I'm actually destined to do bigger things. I was born to do bigger things and I feel like for me I gotta start making like sacrifices in terms of what I really want to do in life and what I really want to focus on for years I've been focusing on working at these jobs that don't fulfill me that don't make me happy at all and yes you've got to work to pay bills you've got to work to basically survive but at the same time what about your happiness? What about what you want to do? What about what makes you happy? And I feel like that's where I'm at with my life. And, you know, for some people, they're okay with working at a job and getting paid like 40, 50K a year. But are they really happy? Like, are they really happy? Some people are happy, but other people, it just doesn't make them happy. People are just willing to work for free for something that they enjoy doing. And for me, I just, I know I'm destined for bigger things. I know my blessings are around the corner. And I know I'm gifted. I know I'm talented. And that's one of the things I've learned in the, within the last, within the last year, within the last six months. Like my confidence has grown crazy in the last six months. And... I'm actually proud of me.
I'm really proud of me and I really do see myself in a whole different space in five years. Like, I know I'm destined for bigger things. I know I'm destined to be on the screens. I know I, know I was born to be on the screens. I was born to do just big things. And I tell you this now, yeah, five years from now, I'm going to watch this video and I'm telling you this now, I'm going to be like, presenting at big shows big events interviewing your favorite people okay on red carpets honey garments looking sweet okay that's what i'm gonna say i'm telling you some of you guys are gonna be watching this video laughing i'm telling you in five years time mm, not even in five years maybe in two years not even maybe, in two years, I'm going to be in a whole different space, in a whole different place. And I feel like for me, there's no such thing as um, I can't do anything. I can do anything if I put my mind to it. Anything. A lot of the things that I've written down, a lot of the things that I've visioned, I, it's come to reality. Um... And I feel like for me, there's nothing wrong with wanting more with your life. There's nothing wrong with working for more. Like, stop settling. Like, stop settling for less when it comes to anything. When it comes to anything in life. Like, stop settling. Like, you was born to be great. And I have to always tell myself that even when, like... You know what? I even got to applaud myself through the difficult times because there's been times where I just felt so stuck and I just felt like there was no way out. And I applaud myself for actually overcoming through those tough times, even though as an entrepreneur, you will go through those times. And there's been times where I just felt stuck, like, like there was no way out. And I've just, like, pulled through it. Like, do you know what I mean? I know I'm getting really deep with you guys because, you know, you know, I'm human. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm human. And I feel like, um, you know, times, there, there, there are some tough times. But, <sighs> why am I getting emotional, please? I am not going to get emotional on <laughs> camera. But I feel like, <sighs> through those tough times, I've always come back. Like, I've always come back and given you guys content. And I'm going to continue to do that because this is, you know what? I never do this. If you guys watch my videos, I never, ever do this. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I will say this year. It's been a tough road. Guys, I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what was wrong with me. Like, why am I getting emotional, please? Like, what? No, that was a whole different fact. I don't know what happened, but I'm definitely cropping some of it out. Uh-uh, I, I, don't, I don't be doing all that cry nonsense on camera. Like, <laughs> you know what? Life is not meant to be straight. You are gonna experience a whole lot of roller coaster, especially during this journey of entrepreneurship. Like, it's 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 mad out here in these streets. You know what I'm trying to say? I get that we're all out here just grinding, hustling, and working, 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 working. But to me, I feel like one of the things that I've learned that there's more to life than just work. Like, there's more to life than just work, 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 work. Like, you gotta take one day out of the week for yourself and do the things that you enjoy you know taking one day out of the week to spend time with your loved one ain't gonna be there forever and i feel like it's important to just cherish moments with your family with your loved ones honestly taking one day out of the week to spend time with your loved ones it's not gonna harm you and i feel like it's very important because i get it we get so caught up with work we get so caught up with this fast paced life that we forget to even take one day out of the week for ourselves. I am always on the go. I'm always on this fast paced move that sometimes I don't even have time for myself. It's only recently that I'm 
training myself to take days out of the week or even take days out of the month to actually spend time doing the things that I love to do or even take days to actually spend time with my loved ones, with my friends, networking because you guys know your network is your net worth. You gotta prioritize yourself, you gotta prioritize yourself, your health in so many aspects. It's very important because at the end of the day, whether they like it or not, you also have a life. And that's what the corporate world don't seem to understand, that you also have a life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys as well. I feel like at times, I know I shouldn't be doing it, but you know, as I'm hitting at this age of 26, I can't help myself but think, damn, like in four years time, I'm about to be 30. I'm gonna be 30. Like, yo, like I'm getting old, you know, as a Tanzanian, I should be married with kids, but I decided not to follow that route because at the end of the day, this is my journey, this is my lane. I'm not meant to be like everybody else, okay? I was born to be greater than I am, born to do bigger things. And right now I'm just fully focusing on my career. I'm fully focusing on building myself and elevating myself in so many aspects you know what i'm trying to say and i'm trying to get to the bag so for me it's like yes i want kids yes i want to be married but just not right now you know i'm getting all these talks from my mother about marriage and i'm just thinking to myself first of all i am ready like i'm not even ready to even have kids like you know, them, them little humans, they're very expensive. And for me, if I'm trying to build a legacy and build wealth, not just for myself, but for my future family and my future kids, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. Like, it is what it is. Like, I gotta be stable in so many aspects. And right now, I ain't stable to have a family, okay? And I damn sure ain't gonna be depending on the man solely okay, to provide for me because I can provide for myself. It's okay if you feel like you're not where you wanna be in life and you're just figuring your life out. You are in your 20s, boo. You're still young, okay? And your 20s are all about figuring your life out. And that's okay. If your favorite people, if your friends or your favorite influencers or anybody out here in these streets that are in your mid, that are in their mid twenties and they're getting married and you're feeling like, well, I should be, I should be where they're at. No, life's not meant to be like that. Like you are, you are on your own journey and they are on their own journey. It's fine if you're not married yet. It's fine that if you haven't got kids yet, it's fine if you haven't got a partner yet. Like it's fine. Like live your life, figure your life out, travel, get you know figure your career out like do what you want to do don't be focused on what the society wants you to do do what you want to do another thing that i've noticed about myself that i'm just trying new things and i'm going out there and i'm forcing myself out there and forcing myself out there in these different environments different rooms just doing different things and just doing me you know what i'm trying to say doing me i don't know what it is but this age of 25 is just it's it's, it's it's there's something about this mid 20s there's something about this this age of 25 it's it just hits different it hits different i tell you this now i've accomplished so much in the last 5 6 years like for some people it might not be a lot but for me like you know i graduated at 20 you know, I got my first job before I even graduated. You know, I've worked for different jobs after jobs after jobs. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I worked at a job. I've had jobs. I ended up getting my own place. I have my own studio flat. You know, I'm healthy. I'm alive. I have amazing parents. I have good people around me. I have a good network now. Guys... <clears throat> morning guys yes it's the next day there are certain things i forgot to mention in the video last night i don't know what was wrong with me yesterday but you know one of the things i forgot to mention um on the video is the fact that no like i've accomplished quite a lot in my early 20s starting my own business at 24 
in the middle of a damn pandemic what that is a huge accomplishment for me um as you guys know i have my business the rearmor collection uh we showcase a variety of african print clothing headbands and head wraps made in tanzania made in tanzania dar es salaam um last month was actually at least last month was actually one year since i launched my business and to me that's a huge milestone the fact that i made it to one year in my business so that's a big accomplishment for me you know making it five and a half years being a content creator being a youtuber and i'm pretty proud of that i'm surrounded with a good circle that actually are like-minded they're open-minded they are ambitious you know i've got you guys you guys keep me going. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful. That's all I'm going to be thankful for. But yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy this video? Are you guys, are you guys in your mid-20s and you're feeling stuck and you don't know what you want to do with your life? Um, let me know what you guys think how you guys feeling comment below don't be shy i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like share subscribe and i shall see you on my next video bye